Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Luna, and we are doing a little vlog day at the zoo. I meant to do this a couple of weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, but you know, life be life and it's fine. So here in SL, I found this zoo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Aradian Zoo, A-R-I-A-D-N-E. I don't know, but I will put the uh, landmark down in the description if you want to come visit. I think this is a very family friendly zoo. I think it is also very informative and we're going to walk around a couple of places where I'm going to show you that it's not just a zoo. And when you go up to the animals, they have a beautiful display of each of the animals and then you get a nice little... Um, informational card where they're from what they eat uh what class they're in like all this information that you would get from a real zoo it shows you up there on the map exactly where they're located in the world it's a very fun rp location to go with friends like i said family trips um I wouldn't even mind going to this uh, zoo for a date. Um, it's very cool, very calm, and you just hear the animal noises, and it's very relaxing. As we come up on this cute little panda down here, and just what they've done with this area, um, is the talent is there, and the attention to detail is what I really enjoy about this spot. Now, normally I would not come this made up to a zoo <laughs> but it's SL we can do anything we want here and I actually spent a couple of hours in the zoo I'm not even kidding you um because as we as we get moving I'll show you why I spent a little bit longer time here and the different things that you can do it is a rather big sim that I wasn't ready for it at all so there's definitely something to do while you're here and trying to one not get lost i came back to the same spot probably four or five times i was like i don't know where i am um but when you first come in i didn't record that um this was kind of when i was already in here and was like hey you know this would be a fun little thing to to showcase to show some other things and places to do this is something that i like to do in sl because most of my friends do not live locally um i honestly think the closest person to me is maybe five hours away and even being five hours is closer than anything and it's feasible but never met in person and that's fine but the one reason why i like to get get into sl and rp and get some of my friends into it is because we can actually take ourselves and do actual things that we would want to do in real life but we can do it virtually and i noticed some people they're like well it's not the same well it is and isn't because when you get a place like this that pays attention to detail and gives you information that you would be you know getting if you were really going to said zoo like I went up to a couple of these and was reading them to a friend in in our discord chat I was like hey did you know this about this animal and they're like where is it I've never seen one of those and so when you get a place like this that shows that attention to detail you forget that you're actually not there and it can be fun and even with it being technology and being online um when crazy glitches happen it makes it even funnier um because i was here with a friend and her face glitched and i was like dying laughing and then i had come across the sim crossing and it completely had me walking pretty much off of the sim and i couldn't control myself at all so if you have people that can match your energy then sl will always be a a fun place in my opinion so this next area we're going to be going down, as I said, the zoo has other things to do. They have a camping sim. So if you're at the zoo and you're with the family and you're like, hey, let's go ahead and just camp. You can go camping. They have different areas that you can go to. They have the zoo. They have um, escape rooms. They have like a little water area. And the one that we come up to right here, there's a swimming pool back here. There's a food, uh, food cart, not a food cart, a food spot, I'll say. And you see a little fairy, it's just following me around, welcoming me. So this area is, 
is filled with anemones that you can use and they're interactive and there's there's more than enough stuff to do while you're here there's that fairy um very cute like they they have just really nailed this down um i haven't been to other any other zoos to this capacity so if you know of any please share um i like going to zoos i can't go as much irl because of my tendonitis and my foot just is not having that in my life but here there's a little play area for your littles for your kids to go for you guys to take a break and as you see that big that big slide over there there's a swimming pool so you can make a full day out of coming here you have your food you have a place to sleep if you end up just go camping you have a place to go swimming you have a place to just hang out and the kids play uh, they really thought of everything and when you transition from the zoo into these different areas they all have their own bits and pieces of personality and so it doesn't feel like you're in the same sim and it does transfer over to a different type area and location and like i said I think they've done an amazing job with all the details and all the things that they've done here and I really would not mind uh, getting a group of friends and just coming back out here. Um, next, thing I, next time I go, I'll just send uh, the TP to everyone and just say, hey, let's meet up at the entrance. I really want to try out one of their escape rooms. I haven't done that yet. I'm thinking about asking my date uh, after we go out for cocktails if she wants to hit up the escape room. Um, I've actually never in real life even done an escape room. I've watched them and I feel like anxiety would annihilate me if I can't figure out a riddle or a rhyme of something. So I don't know if I want to do that <laughs> just yet. As I was going up here to these steps, I saw this little unicorn in Pegasus area. And I was just like, ugh. They have a little fantasy aspect. This is a beautiful photo op spot. Um, I love being able to go to Sims and not only be there for hours because what they're showcasing is eye, is eye catching and mouth dropping, but it's a great photo, photo op area. Like if you can build a spot where I'm like, Ooh, let's take a photo here. Let's take a picture here. Let's tell a story here. Like you've done your job and you've made it so engaging and so entertaining. Um, and that's what I love about, about this spot. So I wanted to make sure that I did keep this. Oh, the fungus on the trees. I didn't even notice that before. It's a little stuff. I like that. I don't, I don't know what happened here. I think I got stuck. I was trying to walk on the path, but I started climbing the tree. Uh, that happens. Uh, this is the shower area from the campgrounds. So if you need to come in and use the bathroom, take a shower, clean up, they have a nice, honestly, private bath area up here. And that's what I also am impressed with. There's laundry down here. Um, it is a little bit further from the actual campsite. I believe the campsite is to my left as I'm counting down these stairs. Um, so it is a little bit of a trek to get there, but um, still, it's, it's really nice that they thought of those little aspects of it. This little cave here, you can come in here and do Tai Chi. So another calming little spot. It's like a destination inside of a destination. I love the little cave when you walk into it and you have like the little butterflies and there's a group of you that can do some Tai Chi. So now to my left, we are coming up on the campsite. Um, you can go in there and you can see some campers out, um, some benches, some tents and Again, the detail is there. There's a little bomb shelter bumper over here. I did not go down in it. Um, I will just take their word for it just by looking at it. It's dark and I bet it does its job and we're going to stick with that. We're going to assume that it, that it does its job. We're just going to take that. But this little camping area is really nice. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I saw that little playground thing um, on The Sims CC. And so many things cross over here and there, but it doesn't surprise me at all. So this is a nice open family area to go camping. And what I like about it is that if you come here to camp and then you're like, man, we want to do something else. Go do a, um, the, the built, what are they called? 
the panic rooms. Go do one of those. Go check out the animals. Um, <clears throat> to my left, again, we're going to be coming up on an amusement park. So, like, after the camping, after the zoo, after the panic room, the escape room, I said panic room, after the escape room, come ride some rides. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try and get on this bull and see how long we can last. Um, oh, that didn't make it. Not, I didn't even make it 11 seconds. Um, I don't know what the trick is to try and stay on this thing. Uh, I was I was holding on for dear life. Got my coffee still in my hand. Never drop it. I thought this one made the board because I was on there quite a while, but it still was like nine seconds. So I was still shy. We're gonna try one more time because I after that last time I was on there for quite a while, and this one still didn't make the board. So hey. It was something to do. We tried it. I rode the bull, but I did not have enough. We have teacups. We have bumper cars. So you have something to constantly do here. We have this boat ride, a double boat ride. So being able to just bring a whole family here, you're going to get more than enough done and more than enough fun. Um, so as we're going through... We're heading back through the other side of the park. There's another little ride there. Um, you can get some popcorn, some cotton candy, some more rides, a little fortune teller box here. And we end up back in the zoo. So like I said, I didn't show off any of the escape rooms, but if I go there on my date, I'll definitely highlight that and show that off to you guys. If you want to come visit the zoo and hang out, I will put that down in the description. Um, but I'm going to start wrapping this up. going to start heading out to the front. I want to thank you guys for another day of just kind of chit-chat and hanging out with me. What do you think of the zoo? What are some places, <clears throat> excuse me, that you like to go to and venture out to here in SL. And what are some things that you're maybe looking forward to? So don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little bell so you don't miss any of the next videos. Have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are. And this is Luna, Galaxy out.